Hey guys, as you can probably tell from the title below, or just the description, or if you know anything what's currently going on with me, this is a quick update with Eidmina's current condition with diabetes. Um, the videos that I have up right now are a little old, but this is from when he was first active in the emergency clinic on December 25th, um, or Christmas basically, to when I was finally able to bring him home a bit later and lay in bed with him as he recovered from his trip back from the bed, which was pretty chaotic. Um, but before I get into the main breakdown of how he is, I just wanted to finally have a moment to thank everybody, and I mean anybody. If you even looked at the page, I thank you. Anybody that has donated to the GoFundMe for him, thank you. Anybody that has spread the word about his condition or just the GoFundMe itself, thank you. And if you just gave me kind words in my DMs on Discord or texted me or just said, hey, we're all here for you, thank you. It's meant a lot to me. It was just a simple page to create, but making it was nerve-wracking. As I'm not usually the person that goes around asking for help. And I'm very stubborn about it. it. It's just, it's always been me. But after a lot of self-convincing and some really awesome friends that helped me remind myself that it's okay to ask for help, I made it. It was created. And I have so many awesome friends that have so far helped me spread the word or donated themselves to this page. So just a big thank you. Seriously, I did not think we would even get this far. <laughs> it was amazing to wake up one day and see that just a few people had donated, let alone now that we're sitting at about $765 currently as I am looking at it. And I, it still kind of blows me away. So once again, seriously, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you to anybody who has donated or just shared the link. To go back to my silly boy and give you an update on how he's been recovering, it's been really good. It took a lot of getting used to, but his glucose has been slowly getting to a good leveling point, as the vets would kind of say, as this has been emailed to uh, the vet he's currently seeing and the vet that he was recovering with while he was in the emergency clinic. As you can see, we kind of started really freaking high and it's just starting to gradually maintain normal levels. I give Aiden Lantus insulin twice a day. It's about 1.5 units um, on the dot. If not, it might be a little less depending on how his feeding has gone. And usually that just involves me giving a phone call to my vet saying, hey, he didn't eat this much today. And we'll alter his uh, intake for insulin appropriately. But typically it's 1.5 units twice a day one at 8 a.m., the other at 8 p.m. And these are given to him after feeding, which I usually do 30 minutes before. So 7.30 a.m. and 7.30 p.m. with the MD prescription food that they have prescribed to me. You might be kind of wondering, how the heck am I checking this guy's glucose and adding them to the graph? Well, it's kind of like how people check their glucose, which I had to get used to and I even did it to myself to, to see how this all works before I did it on Aiden. But there is a meter that I have. It's the Alpha Tracker 3.0. Um, what I do is I have to prick specific points in his ear to get a drop of blood and put that on a test strip that's connected to the meter. It's a bit of a challenge because as soon as he hears the zipper, he's like, oh no. And I personally don't blame him as I like I said, tested this meter on myself and had to poke myself plenty of times to ensure that this was all working properly. Fun fact, it's a bit wacky, but it's literally like how humans have diabetes. You will need to check it at a regular pace depending on the symptoms of the animal or person, obviously. But yes, overall, he's massively improving, and each day that goes by, I'm very thankful that he has a solid chance of no remission with his diabetes. If anybody has any questions or anything that they just want to tell me, feel free to comment them below, or just contact me. I'm really easy to get a hold of. And like I said earlier, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for taking the time to donate or spread the word. 
I'm hopefully be back to uploading goofy stuff or you guys will be seeing more of me hopefully soon. I have been kind of reclused over all of this and it's been a challenge because I'm a really talkative person once you get to know me and I just I feel kind of alone but thankfully I have friends that have just been like hey how are you doing and reaching out and once again thank you guys that do reach out and I wouldn't I wouldn't know where I would be without you guys <laughs> For those that are just finding out about this, there's more information on the GunPlumbe linked below, or if I have it up on this screen, which I might have it up on the screen, <laughs> feel free to click that. Um, there's a lot of information on there. Not only that, but there is basically my textbook of what I've been using for my diabetic cat. Um, it was given to me by the vet that is currently seeing him, and I've been kind of living word to word from it. There's a few differences every now and again but that's usually when I've talked to my vet and we've discussed the plan that he is currently on for remission so just again thank you